and welcome back to my channel. This is Beth from Style at a Certain Age. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. We just started filming videos uh, on Sunday and Thursdays. And Sunday is always about style and Thursdays is, is about beauty, hair, lifestyle. I may throw some recipes at you, may throw some travel things at you. I'm not really sure. We're, it's still kind of in the flux because style at a certain age really kind of encompasses a lot more than just fashion, right? Okay, so welcome. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there's a subscription box down below. I'd love to have you join the crew here and uh, hear your comments and, and, and everything that you would like to, to add. Uh, it's just always very fun. It's a very chatty community over here uh, at, at YouTube, and, but I enjoy it. I'm really, really having fun and enjoying it. Uh, but if you notice, today I um, went to the hairstylist. I finally found a fab stylist here in Athens, Georgia. I'm so very, very lucky. When we moved from San Francisco over a year ago, I left an amazing stylist back there and always I mean, she just kept me at the top of my game. And it is very challenging to find someone to that really understands short hair and, and understands you. And so it's been a process over this past year, but I finally found one. So I thought I'll, I'll just slowly turn around. So we're kind of growing it out again, a little, just a little bit um, into an asymmetrical. I had this a couple years ago, so it's shorter on this side. And I'll kind of uh, I'll do a 360 here. So it's, everybody always wants to see the back. So shorter on this side. And then here's the back. And he does a really nice job cutting the, I really like how he does the back. And then this side's a little bit longer. Okay? So I think he did a really, really good job. And um, I will actually link uh, his profile down too. He's on Instagram, so I'll link him down. His name is Joseph, just a great young man. Uh, but we were just talking today about my gray hair and um, you know the process of, of going gray. There, I really receive a lot of questions from women asking me, you know, what my process was, how long did it take, any tips, you know, yada yada yada. So I actually asked Joseph what were some good um, tips to, to share, and I'll just share you my my process uh, or my journey as well. So I first discovered, or actually I should say. A stylist first discovered my first gray hair when I was about 16, 17, and I was actually in to the salon. Uh, I was going to prom, and so I was, you know, getting an updo. It was very common back then to have these, you know, kind of crazy updo uh, hairdos. And she spotted my first gray hair and told me, and I think I immediately burst into tears because who wants to hear that news when they are 16, 17 years old, right? Especially before the big, you know, the big prom night. So I think I cried. And then, you know, I pretty much got over it. This is like, oh well, you know. Uh, you know, of course I, you know, went searching for all the gray hairs for a few months and then I was just like, oh, you know, who cares? Uh, and then just kind of went on my merry way. But I have really chosen through the years to reveal it rather than conceal it. So I have never colored my hair with a single color process. I've always highlighted it uh, through the years and I've had stylists that really kind of get my gray and stylists that made me, you know, kind of a brassy blonde, but I never had a very drastic growing out period. And when we came back to the States and I had a really amazing stylist when we lived in, the, in Minneapolis and we were throwing in the low lights and the highlights and she really actually got my hair color. It was beautiful. But she's the one that she, she's like, you know, we're really just replicating what your natural hair would do. So why don't we just stop? highlighting and, and see where it takes it. So, so that's exactly what we did. And no one even recognized that I had uh, stopped highlighting my hair. So it was a very painless transition for me. And I also am the type of person to, because going gray is not for everybody. And that's one of the things, you know, I will say that for style, I'll say that for your hair, you have to figure out what's best for you, and what you feel confident in, and then go for it because if you have been coloring your hair and you like your hair blonde or red or whatever it is and you feel comfortable with it then i say you just you know then you go rock that because going gray it really is kind of a mental attitude that you're going to have to wrap your head around and there are still a lot of people out there that will you know and i'll get this on social media all the time oh you look you know you look a little bit older or, you know you should do this or you know you should do that I'm perfectly fine with that. So you have to be perfectly fine with that too. But I will tell you, 
So I do have you know some people here and there that say that, but I will say overwhelmingly, 95% of the people are they love my hair, they love my hair color, and I just received so many compliments on it. So it perhaps may not be as scary as you might make it out to be, but just make sure because it really is you you, you kind of have to wrap your head around that. Uh, but. There are some tips and tricks that Joseph shared with me about going gray and then also too at the very end I'll talk about how to maintain it because as our skin ages our hair is aging as well and they're coming out with some revolutionary new products in the past few years just like you know just anti-aging products for our skin they're coming uh, out with products for our hair too so I'll share a few that I'm using uh, but to go gray, one of the things that, uh, and a lot of women already know this, is go shorter. But <laughs> that's also something you have to be able to wrap your head around because not every woman wants to have short hair. There again, I cut my hair off when I was like a, like 17. And you know, I, mean, I don't know why, I just chopped it off one day and my dad used to call me Joan of Arc. But I've really more or less kept short hair for you know the rest of my life so I'm not like so I'll also get this too it's funny on the blog oh well you know you turn 50 and you think you have to cut your hair short no that is not it when you turn 50 or 40 or 30 or whatever age you have to do what's right for you right so I like short hair so this is what I have uh, but that's one of the ways that you can go gray a little bit more effortlessly as if you chop it all off but you have to be ready for that uh, if you're not ready to go shorter, you can start to, if, you, if you're using the single color um, procedure, you can stop doing that and then do what I, I was doing, which is you know, the low light to the balayage. And uh, so <clears throat> you'll just go in for the first few times, you'll go in about every six to eight weeks, and then they can start to extend that. So it will start to soften that root line here because you're not going with a single color process. So that's another way, just the, the low lights. Another way too is if you just want to go in, you just kind of go, go to cold turkey and, and uh, you will use a process to remove the color from your hair. So you're kind of starting a little bit fresh, but it's not gonna be, it's not going to be your true gray for actually quite some time. So that's, a, that's another way. And then if you wanna go cold turkey, and some women do this, uh, what Joseph recommended is they have these color sticks. They even have these, uh, I guess, brushes too that you can uh, put on your roots. He liked the stick better because it um, doesn't like, the, I guess the powder can tend to wash off on your pillow or rub off on your pillow. So it's a color stick and you can use it on your gray roots. And then, you know, he, and he also recommended if you have longer hair, you can pull it back in ponytails and pull it back in a bun and just use that and it really kind of softens off the pro you know the process and your root line then you know when you when you're about halfway through growing it out then perhaps cut your hair a little bit shorter than you usually do and then that gets rid of a lot of the artificial color and then you you know then it'll be somewhat of a seamless process so those are some of the ways that you can go gray uh, i mean nothing is perfect obviously but I will just tell you the benefits of um, not coloring your hair is just, you know, all of the expense, all of the time that I save, you know, from uh, going to the salon. And also people are really starting to, you know, just like so many things in our society, we're, we're kind of fighting against, you know, chemicals and, you know, putting bad things or, I don't even want to say bad things, but I think we're just much more conscious about what we're eating, you know, clean eating. And so chemicals are... Um, you know, people are just having a reaction to that these days, and so they. So that's also another reason of why you would want to go gray. You just don't want to use those chemicals. So, uh, so those are just some of the the, the tips and tricks uh, of going gray, and you know, my process. And then I thought um, I'd share a few products, and um, we'll we'll zoom in on them too, and I'll I'll kind of insert that. We're, I'm kind of figuring that out with editing, but. Um, but as I said, just as we age, our skin is aging, our hair is aging too. And one thing with gray hair, it does become a little bit more, it's, it's a, a little bit more brittle and it's a little bit, I mean, it loses strength and it loses its luster. So you have to be sure that you're always enriching your hair so you're maintaining its strength and you're maintaining its luster. And um, 
I actually, so Joseph has recommended that I come in for a toner like maybe every, I don't know, every 12 weeks or maybe every 16 weeks because a toner, what it does, and that's just a wash and so I guess I think they call it a, a, a demi rinse or semi permanent, it's just a wash and rinse. So they wash it in and then it just kind of fades as you wash your hair daily um, or every other day. But what it does is it just it applies some strength back into your uh, your hair, the hair follicles, and it also kind of gives it a kind of a cool color. I did this about eight weeks ago, and I'll do it again in another maybe like eight weeks, and it just kind of gives it a kind of a smoky uh, metallic look. But it also helps your hair as well um, maintain its strength and its luster. So that's one thing uh, that happens when we age. So, but now they are coming out with these really cool uh, products, anti-aging products. And this is, so um, Joseph just switched me to, a, I was all, all out of my products. So he switched me to Kevin Murphy products. I had not heard of that before. So I will report back and tell you what I think. But um, there again, he has a Young Again wash. So uh, I'm using that, it has antioxidants and then some natural ingredients too, like lotus flowers and orchids and you know, some kind of some cool things like that. So there's the wash. And then also they have then the rinse. There again has some antioxidants in this uh, product. So I'm actually very excited to use that. Um, he also, this is just not for aging here, but um, I'm just showing my little, my hair routines. We're talking about hair. So he also, uh, recommended that I put in, and this is exactly what he, he put in my hair uh, today. Um, so this is a smooth again, so this is a smoothing serum to help uh, with blow drying your hair, because I blow dry my hair and, it's, and it kind of makes it frizzy sometimes. And then this is the anti-gravity, this is the oil-free volumizer, because it, even though you can see I have very, very thick hair, uh, but even though I have thick hair, I still want to keep my volume. Uh, I, I don't want it to just lie flat on, on my head. So he recommended this. And then this is really cool. I really like this. I haven't used this before. So this is, th they call this bedroom hair. I'm sure a lot of you that have longer hair probably already use this. So this is for, it's called flexible texturizing hairspray. So basically, so he just kind of pulled it up and then sprayed it. And you have to, he said, you have to just make sure that you're about six to eight inches away. And then it just kind of gives a little bit of texture and a little bit of movement and, uh, you know, just a little bit of kind of a, uh, you know, that bedroom here that it's kind of popular right now. So these are the products that he switched me to, but I also, before I go, I just also wanted to say, if you do have gray hair, uh, one of the things that I also do on a semi-regular basis is use a, a purple shampoo or a purple based shampoo. And I don't have, I, I um, don't have those products with me, but Aurive makes a really nice one. They have a nice shampoo and a nice uh, conditioner and I'll link that up. Uh, but the one thing that you have to be careful about uh, with that is if you start to use it every day, your hair will most likely start to turn lavender. So I just use it maybe like every third day or every fourth day, but it keeps my gray locks or my silver locks or you know whatever it is, it keeps them really looking like they're supposed to and because gray hair can tend to look dull. So. Those are a few of the tips and tricks that I learned uh, from Joseph today about going gray. And I'm telling you, if you are up for it, and a lot of more and more women are, uh, and they, they say the gray is the new black, and I think I, I kind of agree. And I have been gray now for over eight years, and I am not sorry one day that I decided to do that because it is, as I said, saves me time and money at the hair salon and I don't have any harsh chemicals in my hair. So that's it for our uh, beauty segment today or hair segment today and I'll see you on Sunday. And uh, I still haven't figured that out but it's a nice long Labor Day weekend so um, I hope that you all have some fun plans but uh, I'll, I'll see you Sunday when, when we're talking about style. Bye bye.